Hey, what's up YouTube? TMZ1313 here. Just got my uh, small solar set up in my apartment. Just want to do a little update for the people that haven't seen the last video that I made about this. I'll just do a quick overview. Um, I got four SLA batteries in parallel. They're basically like this one right here. There's four of them. They're almost six years old. I don't know if you can see the date. So, they are pretty worn out. Um, I've been running these hard, actually. And I'm pretty sure they're getting sulf uh, sulfated. Um, here's my charger. I got two solar panels hooked up in parallel. 100 watts each. But man, this weather is killing me with the solar power. Um, especially because I don't have it directly um, where it should be at. It's just hanging out my window. Kind of more northwest than anything. Um, but I do get like 1.5 amps during peak hours. But anyways, um, past week, no, nothing but clouds. Just no sun at all. And my batteries are suffering for it. Um, this is what, 1 o'clock during the day. And it should be... Sorry about the shakiness. It should be um, at 12.8 easy and it's in that 12 too and that's just uh pretty horrible uh so last time i had two nope say hi she wants to get it <laughs> anyways um last time i had two 12 volt lights hooked up to these now i got three but the third one runs constantly it's in, it's my hallway uh hallway light and it it's on 24 7 basically so um that's what's killing my battery, I think. These SLA batteries are not made for deep cycling and solar power. Um, I'm killing them already, as they're already six years old. But they were a freebie. It was a fun little project I wanted to do. Um, I probably will. Or actually, what I will be doing, I'll be talking about in a minute. But let me show you my lights real quick, if you haven't seen them. So here's one of those lights. It's all has a little amp meter. Each one takes about 0.13 amps. Um, and this is my hallway light. Um, if you're wondering how I got a light to be up there, it's all wired just with a small, tiny wire. You can almost see it. And that runs all the way down. Like I said, I'm in the apartment, and it goes behind the couch over there. Um, I'm in my apartment, so I don't want to make any holes in the wall. Uh, this is just a little bit, a dab of hot glue, and that will keep it from uh, making any damage. And then here's the last one right here. And that just runs right through the wall right there. And my solar generator, or my solar panels, is right on this side of the wall. Alright, so those three lights are powered by these batteries right here and these solar panels. Um, now, I do want to get a 12-volt ceiling fan. and I want to put that in my room. But I'm really thinking that these batteries aren't going to be able to take all that. So I might try to get one... Solar panel battery. I don't know yet. Or I might just use my AGM 35 amp hour one right here. Um, and that's a true deep cycle. So that could take some cycles through it. Uh, but now what I'm going to do here. Because I'm afraid that these are getting sulf sulfated. So I'm going to take them off the solar panels. Because I'm not going to get any sunlight today. I need to get these uh, this voltage up. So... I'm going to hook the small wall charger, 12 volt wall charger, and we'll hook up to these batteries and we're going to get this voltage up and charge them. Alright, so I just hooked up this uh, wall charger. And negative is right there. And 
positive is all the way on the other battery. So it's getting an equal charge on it. I unhooked my solar panels, so my solar panels are not connected. Um, this is still connected, but that won't harm it at all. Um, it's just kind of picking up the battery state. It'll tell me when the battery's charged just by this right here. So as you can tell, it's going up slowly. We'll see how far it goes up and see how long it takes to charge it. Alright, so it's 11 o'clock at night. They've been charging for 10 hours. Battery voltage is at 14.5. And we got a blinking light, which is good. So, focus. Um, so what I'm going to do here is take this charger off and let's see what the voltage is on the battery at rest before an hour, after an hour. So after an hour of sitting, the batteries are at 12.8, which is the normal at what they sit at. It's actually a little bit less than what it should be at because they're so old, um, but they're not um, badly sulfated like I thought they were. Uh, the charge was pretty good. It it basically behaved like a real bad or like a good battery. So, um, but you can tell my um, my light is at a solid and not a blinking now. And that's just because it's in at twelve eight. But that's what they normally sit at. So I'm pretty happy about that. So my solar generator is sitting at 13 o. So you can tell the difference at the battery um, health. It's still uh, blinking. So I know that's good. So these two batteries, I got two in parallel. 244 amp hour. And that's just... Uh, that's in good. That's a healthy battery right there. 12.8 is still a fully charged battery, but I don't consider it a fully charged battery. Alright, so if you guys like this video, get a thumbs up, subscribe, check out all my other channel or all my other videos on my channel, and uh, check out more on this. I'll be uploading a whole bunch more videos of this. The solar generator, my boat. Uh, once summer comes, you'll begin a whole bunch of good videos. So subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.